Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to create a validation rule which requires a user to write in a field that has greater than 25 characters. So in this scenario, we're going to do it off the event. We'd like them to write more than 25 characters into the description of the event in order for them to save. So let's get started with this validation rule. So we've gone to set up object manager event, and we're going to create a new validation rule. You can name it whatever you want. We're going to do description um, greater than 25, as in 25 characters. You can write in your description. We are going to use the len function. So the len returns the number of characters in a uh, text string. We're going to find the field in which we want it to count the number of characters. So we're going to throw in description and then we want it to be greater than 25. So this we can check our syntax as well. We're good. Um, this basically is going to count the number of characters in the description and anything that is less than 25 characters will throw the error. Anything that's 25 and greater will not throw an error. We're going to have this appear on the description and we're going to write in an error message. Please ensure your, you, you have written more than 25 characters. You can write whatever you want. We're going to click save and now let's go test our validation rule. So we're going to go back to our, uh, home, our accounts page. We're going to go to ABC company and we're going to create an event, new event, subject, call. We're going to skip all the rest and we're going to click save. It'll throw this error. Unfortunately, we don't have description on this. So let's see if we can go to calendar. Uh, rather than me going and add. So when you add from the calendar, it throws up all fields, so it's a bit easier. So we'll do it from this way instead. Uh, and then we'll try to hit save. We'll get this error. Please ensure you've written more than 25 characters. Uh, we're just going to do the more than 25 characters. Let's see if this works. Our validation rule is active. I believe that's more than 25 characters. Let's see if it is. I'm going to click save. And the event has been created and saved. So that is how you go about creating a validation rule to ensure that your users are essentially writing in the right amount of characters within a field. Alternatively, if you only wanted them to write 25 characters in there. Uh, you can use a, uh, a validation rule for that as well. Or if you want 20, less than 25 characters in the field, you can use that as a validation rule as well. So hopefully you've liked this video. So please like and subscribe. Thanks.